four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Moby, I'm trying to practice the Gettysburg Address. It's an important speech that was given by President Abraham Lincoln. Hmm. I wonder what he was like as a kid. Good idea, Moby. We can find out by reading his biography. That's a book that tells you about someone's life. What was Abraham Lincoln like before he was president? Abraham Lincoln was born in a log cabin in Kentucky on February 12, 1809. Whoa, that was about 200 years ago. His parents were farmers and moved to Indiana for better land. As a boy, Lincoln worked and didn't have much time for school. But he loved to read, and he borrowed lots of books. Lincoln even worked as a shopkeeper. And once he walked miles just to give a woman six cents that he overcharged her. Well, his nickname was Honest Abe. Abraham Lincoln was really tall. Even taller than you, Moby. Okay, maybe not that tall. Lincoln was six foot four inches tall. And sometimes he wore a stovepipe hat that made him seem even taller. When he was older, Lincoln taught himself about the law and decided to become a leader. While he was running for president, he received a letter from a girl who told him he'd look better with a beard. Hmm. So he grew one, and he won the election. What happened while Abraham Lincoln was president? Well, when Abraham Lincoln was elected, the United States was facing a big problem. The southern states supported slavery, and the northern states did not. The south wanted to break away and form their own separate country. Lincoln did not want the country to split in half. And so, the Civil War started. Many people died, and it was a really hard time for the country. But at least something good happened during the war. Lincoln abolished slavery. That meant slavery had to stop. In the end, Lincoln helped the North win the war, and the North and South remained one country. But then, what happened to Abraham Lincoln? Less than a week after the Civil War ended, Lincoln went to the theater. A man named John Wilkes Booth hated Lincoln for freeing the slaves. Booth snuck into the theater and shot President Lincoln. Lincoln died in a house across the street from the theater. Abraham Lincoln was the first president to get assassinated. Oh, Moby, it's okay. There's lots of ways we celebrate Lincoln's life. We put him on the penny and the $5 bill. He's one of the presidents on Mount Rushmore. And there's even a Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. And we also celebrate President's Day in his birthday month of February. Yep, there's no chance we'll forget him.